Are you struggling to come up with new keywords for your site? Or maybe you're struggling to rank for the keywords that you found when you were doing keyword research before? Well, did you know you could use Google Search Console to find better keywords and keywords that you can actually rank for much more quickly and easily? So let me show you how I do it. So I like to start by looking at the pages report inside my Google Search Console. And I want to sort these URLs by impressions. Now these are the best performing pages on my site because Google is preferring to show these URLs more than the other URLs that are lower down this list. So what I want to do is take a look at the top performing URLs with the most impressions and see what types of topics or maybe keywords I kind of want to dive a little bit deeper in. Since this is a personal injury attorney website, you'll see a lot of location pages that are up here and also a few practice areas as well. For example, this one, Dog Bites. Now let's just say maybe I want to focus my website around this topic more in general. Maybe aside from Dog Bites, maybe there are some other related keywords that uh, I can potentially rank for, like maybe animal bites or wildlife or, you know, household pet bites or whatever, right? So let's just click into this URL and I'm going to click on the queries report and I'm going to click on the refresh button to take a look at the keyword level data provided by the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. So with this browser add-on, you'll see four new columns here. We can see the average monthly search volume for each one of these top queries, the average cost per click. Now this is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner alongside the competition score and the trending as well over the past 12 months. Now these are all of the queries that my dog bite page is uh, ranking for. Now I'm going to sort by impressions. So we can see Illinois dog bite lawyer, dog bite lawyer, attorney, Waukegan dog bite lawyer, uh, so a few location-based keywords here, and many of the top terms that I want to rank for are showing up here as well. So obviously this dog bite page will be ranking for a lot of dog-related search queries. But what I want to look for in this list are keywords that are not necessarily related to dogs, maybe something a little bit more broad. So what I want to do is click on this query and I want to filter queries not containing the keyword modifier of dog. So these top queries don't have that dog keyword modifier in them. Now at the same time, these queries are still ranking for my dog page, but as you can see, they are not getting any clicks and you can also sort by impressions and I'm going to increase the number of rows for this report as well. And Keywords Everywhere also provides us with the keyword level data as well, such as the very important average monthly search volume. So these keywords are not necessarily related to dog bites, but Google is still preferring to show this URL for these queries, which basically tells me that Google considers my website a viable candidate to rank for these keywords. And that really means a lot because if Google is ranking my page for these keywords, then that basically means that I could potentially write a better article that's totally focused on that particular search query. And I will have a much better chance of ranking for that keyword versus going out there doing cold keyword research finding a topic and trying to rank for it, I could look at this report and see what is Google ranking my site for and see which keywords are relevant for me that I don't have content around yet and plan out a strategy to write content for these closely related uh, search terms. And of course, we do want to focus on the search terms that do have some search volume. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes in. We could take a look at the top queries with a good amount of impressions and also some search volume as well. 
So we could see a lot of location-based ones like Waukegan Premises Liability Lawyer, Product Liability Lawyer, and so forth. Now there's a few that really stand out to me. So Chicago Animal Attack Attorney, that one has an average monthly search volume of 30, and there's a few impressions. So this website did rank for this keyword, but clearly not that much. There are no clicks, but there is some potential there, right? So Animal Attack is similar to Dog Bites. So I'm going to click into this URL and I'm going to exit this page and go to the pages report just to see if this query is ranking amongst other URLs as well. And it's not. It's only ranking for this Dog Bites page. But clearly the average position is not high whatsoever. So this is an excellent keyword that I can create a page around. So I can create a page around Chicago Animal Attack Attorney. I'm already ranking for it. So if I do create a page around this, I have a much higher chance of ranking more quickly and also higher because the page that I would write would be much more tailored to this specific topic. And then you could follow that same process again. So maybe Puppy Lawyer might be a good one to create a page around. Um, there's a few more animal bite keywords right here. So go through your top queries report and look at the queries that are not necessarily tied to your ranking page, but is relatively similar in terms of topics for your website. And all you need to do is write a page targeting those top queries. Now this one, Chicago Pitbull Attack Lawyer, so this is a specific dog. Uh, this one has about 33 impressions, but the average monthly search volume is zero. So that's some good insight as well. So this might be a keyword that you can target maybe in the future since the search volume is on the low side and just focus on the keywords that do have a higher average monthly search volume. So, th so that's how you can plan out uh, your SEO content strategy. Okay, so this is how you can find those hidden keywords using Google Search Console to more or less guarantee your SEO success. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Let me know by hitting that like button and also subscribing to our channel. If you want to check out our other videos, there are a couple of here for you to click on. So with that said, thank you and we will see you in the next one.